hey y'all welcome back to my channel so y'all already know that it is spooky season so we're gonna get right into this video i am going to be doing this set on myself and i kind of didn't really know how they would turn out because i've never done chrome red bottom nails before so um i was just really happy with how this entire set turned out it was just so gorgeous so right now i am taking transfer gel and i'm laying that on my pinky my pinky is going to be my tester because like i said i've never done um, nails like this on myself or practice hand or a client so you know i'm just going to be testing it out on my pinky first to see how that really comes through and then um i'll do the rest of the nails once i figure it, it, it's good and safe to go <laughs> Also, as you can see, I have already prepped my nails and applied my tips and also laid down a thin layer of clear acrylic. So I'm popping my hand in the lamp for 30 seconds. Once it's out, I am going to be rubbing the red chrome um, powder onto my nail. Once it's to my liking, I will go ahead and top it with a red gel polish and then I'll go ahead and back into the lamp for a full 60 seconds before moving on. Also y'all, one thing I did forget to mention that at this moment, I did put my hand back in the light for 30 seconds and then I moved on to the gel polish. y'all look how cute it is oh my gosh i kind of just wanted a set just all red like that once i removed it <laughs> and um it was definitely given i know y'all can't really see it right now but i promise you in the final videos you will see it really comes through that red just pops so i'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of the fingers now
look at that so cute okay so we are taking yum nail swipe and i'm just going to be wiping down the nails very very good um getting off of that extra red do you see all of that on the little napkin thingy the lint free wipe i mean <laughs> Moving on to application, I am using black from Royalty Nail Supply. I really like their acrylics. Um, I have probably just as many as Royalty Nail Supply as I do not polish. I'd say both of those acrylic brands are my top acrylics that I have in my collection.
Moving on to filing, I'm using my hand file first. I'm going to be filing the sides and the free edge, just sharpening up my shape. So once I'm done sharpening up the shape, I'm moving on with my e-file. I'm going to seal the cuticles and debulk anything that I feel needs to be debulked. So once I'm done debulking the nails, I go in with my mandrel bit and a medium grit sanding band and I'm just going to be creating a smooth surface for the topical nail art. Once I'm done with this, I'll go ahead and move on to buffing and again that's just to create the smoothest surface possible for the nail art that we're going to be doing um, you want to just make sure that the nails are smooth because sometimes when you go in with topical nail art whatever you're using to paint with that paint can seep into the cracks and you don't really want that so it, it'll just ruin your design so that's why you really want to just create that smooth as possible surface
So once my hands are clean and free of all the dust and debris, I am moving on to the topical nail art. So I'm using a white gel polish from Royalty Nail Supply and I'm going in with my dotting tool to create four dots, two at the top, two at the bottom. And I am going to be connecting those dots to create the bone. I would suggest starting one of the bones in the middle of the nail that way when you create the other two you know exactly where to place them. After a 30 second cure in the lamp, I'm moving on to making the bones glow in the dark. So I am I found these glow in the dark pigments on Amazon. Um, so I figured I'd try them out. So I'm just pouring it onto the bones. And because the gel polish has a tacky layer, I don't need to add anything for the pigment to adhere to. So here you see me just pressing that pigment really firmly into the design and um, I am rubbing just a little bit but more so just pressing because I, I don't want the pigment to end up really adhering to any of the black acrylic um, just in case you know I don't want to have to go in and clean that up afterwards. <laughs> So I'm tapping and dusting off any excess powder and once I'm done with that I'm going to be popping my hand in the lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds and unfortunately my phone did die after this so I didn't get the rest of the nails but y'all get the gist of it. And this is the final look and I am obsessed y'all look like oh my gosh when I tell you I cannot stop looking down at my hands like I just keep staring at them every five seconds like like a new design is gonna reappear or something but I'm definitely in love and of course 
look at that they definitely glow in the dark i love the powder i give it a 10 out of 10 recommendation and i want to thank everybody so much for all the love and support that my channel has been receiving lately i want to thank all the new subscribers and please like share and subscribe thank you